it's likely that you remember Chase Daniel for things like this. He throws a deep seam pattern. Macklin separation over the shoulder grab at the 15 to the house. But in the grand scheme of things, he hopes you remember him for so much more. Four seasons into his NFL career, Daniel is branching out and recently returned to his alma mater to give some advice to the next generation of business school Tigers. Well, one thing that's really hit heart and hit home for me since I've not only graduated Mizzou but been in, in the NFL and been a small business owner is the word invest. There is a class here that I took called Life After Sports that literally prepared you for whether it be after the college sports are done or after your pro career is done, you have to be prepared to be able to, to focus on the next step in life. Daniel spoke at the True Last College of Business, a place he knows just as well as Faroe Field. While he won games and racked up every passing record in school history, Daniel also earned a degree in finance. And he even met Warren Buffett when he was in school, a moment that helped form the Heisman finalist business future. We got to meet in 07 um, and uh, we were taking a business trip up there through the Trelaski College of Business and uh, was able to meet, I mean, literally he was, he was the wealthiest person in the world at that time. To have a guy like that believe in you and not only just believe in your dreams and your aspirations, but just believe in you as a person. It's been a great relationship. In 2011, Chase started his own apparel company, 10 Star. He invested in clothing because he said, as far as he knows, that's not going to go away anytime soon. It's exactly the kind of non-risky investment he learned to make in business school here at Mizzou. I, I really wasn't a management major. I was a finance major, so I, I learned the ins and outs of the numbers of the business. So I know what we need to be profitable and, and to turn a, a good year around in our fiscal year coming up. But I think here it just really gave you all the tools available to be able to bring everything together into one and, and say, hey, let's do this. Let's actually start a business. Let's, let's get with the grind. Hey, we've made some mistakes along the way, but, but we're, we're pressing forward. He fights forward in business the same way he's fought to stick around in the NFL when so many people say he can't. It's just the way Chase approaches things. And I also realize that getting into this, it's going to take a lot of work. And that's something that, that I think that I, I like. I like to be challenged. I like to, to, for people to tell me not to do stuff or, or I don't think you can do this, I don't think you can do that. Well, we're in the process of proving them wrong. Kind of sounds familiar. Daniel proved plenty of people wrong in leading the Tigers to 30 wins in his three seasons as Mizzou's full-time starting quarterback. Beating the odds in business is right up his alley. I'm Ben Arnett for the Mizzou Network.